Cool. Pops. With all that leaf growth. Yeah. Uh. I don't want rocks. I want white. White and ice. That is the wrong direction. We can take out 100. Isn't that awesome? One, two, three. There. Okay. Now, Ochi, I need you to get on top of the counter. Hold the phone. Are we done? We're done. No way. We're done. Let's go. I didn't think we would do that today. But I I think we we can take out 100 Pikmin. We have all that we would ever really need. That was really weird, Ochi. I don't, never want to see that from you again. Inexcusable for performance. Yeah, because we can get on top of this. There aren't any more any other caves. Yeah. It's Olimar time after I get this treasure. Oh yeah, that. I totally forgot about that. Why did it take so take them so long? Leafling recovered. It's purple. That's the best that we got. All these leaflings. Everywhere we go, there are more of them. I'm going to need to stock up on medicine. Okay, flying leap time. Ah! <laughs> I barely made it. Sweet. Yeah, it's it's Olimar time. That's insane. <laughs> oh, do I need Ochi to get up here? I do. That's problematic. Um. Hmm. What is that over there? It's glowing. Hold up. Oh, it's that. I don't know why it's glowing pink pink in the distance. It's very strange. Uh, here. This is probably gonna be faster. There we go. That's that's a lot faster. I mean, I'm gonna have time. That's not really a problem. I can get Ochi to where where we need where we need to go. I can reunite him with Jeff. That is not an issue at all. Perfect. Um, in fact, I have so much time because I'm gonna make a meta call here that. We're going to rescue Olimar. We're going to beat Olimar in a grand challenge of champions. Oh, we aren't done. Oh, maybe we are done. We might be done, but I don't know if we're done. There is a, there is a very strong possibility that there's still something here. Um, and the last treasure isn't just in the cave. But what I was saying is I'm going to make a meta call and I'm going to move the base over here. Because if we get out with Olimar, we are not going to be able to move him back to the base in the the 10 countdown if the base isn't exactly here so let's do this uh we have white pikmin so or we can remove white pikmin when we exit the cave maybe uh, let's let's try something let's try something uh wait wait command find treasure and i'm gonna switch no treasure. That's an, unless he's just dumb and can't pick up anything on the table. There are no other treasures in here. It's just inside this final cave, perhaps. End of the game, possibly right now. Let's go inside. Leafy showdown. Seven minutes. Let's do it. Pikmin present only rocks. I must admit, your abilities have impressed me, but let us settle once and for all who is the real Dandori Master. This will be your final Dandori battle. Show me what you can achieve. This is it. Possibly. It could actually be the final boss? I kind of don't believe that, but it's, it's the final something. Uh, okay, we have all the rock pikmin we need. Again, I need to get used to the split screen. We have more rock pikmin than before. Uh, chop him. Nice. Uh, Ochi, you're gonna take that back. 
And remember, we need to get in the gameplay loop. We need to find out how to best respawn. I actually totally forgot how to... Oh, it's a Y. Thank you for reminding me, game. Five. One, two, three, four, four. That's fine for four. Um... Yeah, I'm gonna power them up. Ooh, they're blue. That's sweet. We just need to find the loop of... Of what we can take... Oh, you, you're here. What we can take back... Ochi. Nice. Nice, Ochi. You take back the strawberry. While he's distracted. The loop of things that respawn. That's, that's what I'm trying to say. We just need to find what can respawn... Um, and constantly just farm that loop. Uh, one more. Boom. Boom. One, two, three, four, five. I think nine Pikmin can kill that pretty easily. They're also immune, as you guys said, to spikes. There we go. Boop. Uh, I don't have ten. I'll take that back. And you do that. Uh, switch to Ochi. What are you doing, buddy? Take that back. Uh, I think that's fine. I think we're, yeah, I think I'm doing a good job. Uh, whistle. Okay. Whoa, whoa! I got teleported. What? What? Hello, I'm here now. Uh, I don't even know where where here is. Ochi, deal with that. I have no idea where I am. Um, Ochi will kind of lead me. Sprout more Pikmin. Oh, I, I can use my map. Uh, uh, I don't want this kind of Pikmin. That's fine. I'll do this. Uh, Jeff, go back to base, please. Oh, it's just this way. It's just this way. I think we're okay. Ooh, there's an orange bulb orb. That's not good. I don't know if you use that as an item or not. Come on. This is not good. This is not good. All my Pikmin are busy. Go. Please kill him. Please kill him. Kamehame. Got him. Boom, boom. Got him. That was very costly. I don't know if that was just an enemy that spawned or what. Um, I can throw one Pikmin there. I don't know how I was one short. I mean, I'm beating him. Of course, the final thing would be a challenge. Okay, get my Pikmin off of this. Ochi, you carry that. And now I need to start focusing on, on the big treasures. Like that. Perfect. Yeah, we're gonna have a lot of Pikmin after this. Like, ow! Break loose. They're carrying that back. Good job. We have gold income from the, the Glowmen. Come on. Whoa. What on earth? This is a sneak bomb. A forbidden bomb. Transport it to your opponent's onion to lower their points. That's sick! If you steal the dandorium that results from the explosion, the tide of the battle may turn. That's exactly what we're doing. Where is it? He warped me. There it is. There it is. Ochi, carry that. You, sir. Get out of here. Good, I distracted him. I distracted him and... He just carried it right through the water. These Pikmin aren't going to bother me. Go! Guard the bomb! Yes! Watch this. this that, that's sick! That's such a cool concept! Oh no! A sneak bomb! I must collect the Dandorium quickly before my opponent steals it. Pure, unadulterated Dandorium. Okay, deal with his Pikmin, deal with his Pikmin. Carry the stuff back. Okay, gather my forces. Uh, I don't need 25 carrying that. Carry, I'll sneak this one back. 
Uh, get ready to stun his Pikmin. There. Perfect. This is the objective. This is what I care about. Get it back to base. With two minutes left, uh, yeah, I'll use rocks on him. His Pikmin are still bugging me, but I, oh, I have a full swarm left. Um, I, sick. That's a mine. Die. Bye, Olimar. Oh, I moved. <laughs> Who could have predicted? Ah, that's a pair. That's a pair. We'll get that pair in a second. That'll be the last thing we get. Come on. Beat him. Crush him. Crush him. Okay. He's dead. Let's get the pair. Takes 30. Well, lucky for us, we have 43 Pikmin. Okay, you take that back. Get up. Go. I don't know where Ochi is at the moment. Where is Ochi? Why are you over there, buddy? Uh, come here. Actually, hold up. Grab these first. Grab these first. And then bring an apple back, or a lime back with you, why not? We have so many. Uh, what can we get? What can we get in the remaining time? I don't care about that. That's something I care about. Get a few more. Ooh, yes. Get all that gold. That yummy gold. Get this gold, too. I don't know what I just used. Uh, I have five Pikmin left. Ochi. Carry that. Use that, whatever that is. I'm using bioweapons now. We're crushing him. We're crushing him. Look at us go. 257. 257 to 71. Get wrecked, Olimar. Dandori level four? Really? That's what you have? That's Dandori level four. Dandori level zero, more like. We did it. We finally did it. I have been defeated. If I had a Dandori abilities like yours, maybe I could have found my way home. I am Captain Olimar. I only wish to be reunited with my wife and children. Don't you dare, Moss. Don't you dare. No way. Did he just say Olimar? Our suspicions were correct. We located Captain Olimar. Let's bring him back to the rescue command post and get him back to his old self. What should we do about the dog? We can't just leave it here. Hmm, I have a use for it. Look at that face. That's what I thought. Hmm, it's gone. It ran away. So it goes. Right now, our top priority is rescuing Olimar. Let's t let's clear out the cave and do it. Jeffrey. As I thought, Moss is an antagonist. It's been a long road to get here, and now we're not done yet. Let's get Olimar back to the bagel. Defeated. Olimar? The leafling is still unconscious. Hurry and bring him back safely to the bagel so we can find out if it is truly Captain Olimar. Give me... All the white Pikmin, please. Uh, and honestly, don't give me yellows. Give me purples. And then blue, and then ice. We can freeze enemies, we can smash them with purples, and we can carry stuff back quick with whites. And it's not quite the countdown yet. Carry him back quick. I'm, I wager to guess that Moss is going to interfere. Where is she? Looks like we're... It looks like we're good. It looks like we're good. Bring him back quick, and... Olimar is officially rescued. Huzzah! Rescue complete! Olimar. Of course, we still can't read his ID badge, but we know who it is. 
The ball. That's right. Let him. Let's get him cured and fast. Ha 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 ha. Yes, we did it. Explored 100% of the area. Confirmation. Proof positive. There's nothing left to garner. Except for a little bit of advice that you guys gave me. Uh, let's put away the purples. I don't need them anymore. I was intending to do battle with, with, uh, moss. Let's take out rocks, because it looks like there's some plastic I left on the table. First and foremost, I want to get some, uh, some ultra-spicy berries farming here. So... One, two, three, four, five. I counted that very strangely. One, two, three, four, five. And actually, let's do a few more for just for speed's sake. There we go. Okay. Now, apparently, the um, the scutter chucks, I believe they're called. I'm not. You can tell the the lack of knowledge I have with with Pikmin three enemies. The scutter chucks. If you break their stuff, yeah, plastic drops. So we have a lot of cleanup to do. There's a lot of of, lot of this plastic just kind of laying around, and I mean we have nothing better to do, so why not? We'll pick up the scutter chucks and grab some plastic along the way, get and kind of free some of the clutter, because there definitely is a lot of clutter. There are a lot of bodies laying around. It's kind of messy. We can maybe leave this place a little bit cleaner than we found it. I mean, it truly, whoever lives here has a massive infestation problem. Uh, what else? The mites are down there, which we can grab and grow our Pikmin in the process. This was a, this was a unique area. It was clever. Uh, the caves had us going downstairs, which is one thing I just didn't think about when I was recording it. We are just straight up going downstairs. They're, all of the natural, um... The natural obstacles we had to we had to get by of just like getting on top of a couch, getting on the kitchen counter, getting inside of a of an oven in the uh, like with the the element. It's it's really cool. This was a, a sweet area, even if thematically I'm not a big fan of it from the perspective of humanity. Honestly, should be dead, and I don't like the idea that they're still around. But overall pretty sweet. We'll bring these mites back. And I don't know if I have time for this. Probably not. Switch over to Ochi. With all my whites. And we're... Make sure I don't have... What? Oh, that's what's happening. Uh, let's... Wait, 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 wait. That's not the right button. That was the wrong button. That's the wrong button, too. That's not good. Did I just bungle everything? Whoa, whoa, switch, 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 switch. Switch. Whistle. The Pikmin. I have 40 out. What just happened? Switch. I lost. What? what just happened? I was just completely distracted by our accomplishments that I murdered a bunch of Pikmin. I forgot what I assigned calling idle Pikmin to, and so I threw a bomb. <laughs> oh no. I'm a dead Dory Master! Yay! Oh my. I can't. <laughs> oh no! Don't look! To avert your eyes. Turn away. <laughs> no. No. That's that's what I did. That's what I did. <laughs> Olimar's like, I lost to this? What? I can't look. I'm so red in the face by that. How did I let that happen? I don't know what... Oh, my word. I thought we... I... Mm. <laughs> I thought we had more time than we did. And I was like, I could just kind of look around. I want to look at the sunset like I did in the other areas. My eyes are literally closed right now, by the way. I'm not even looking at, at the screen. I'm too embarrassed by 
everything that just happened. <laughs> I, lo I, I can't wait to see the death tolls, because I lost 40, right? Like, that's not the lion's share of my whites, but it's a lot of whites, and I almost blew up the rest of them. <laughs> yeah! Victory! At what cost? Yeah, all the money in the world. 100%! 100%, 44 Pikmin lost, 14 whites. <laughs> That's legit. Legitimately, one of the worst Pikmin deaths I've ever had was that. Not in the number, just in the stupidity of everything that happened. But we did it. Yay! Woohoo! <laughs> At last, we finally rescued Captain Olimar. Or rather, a leafling that should be him. That's right. You've done seriously great work getting us to this point. Bwah ha ha ha. Incredible work. No doubt about that. I guess I can give credit where it's, where it's due. Uh, good one, Jeff. Yoni, do we have enough medicine to stock to administer the cure? We do. I will give him a dose first thing tomorrow. Okay, we are counting on you, Yoni. Tomorrow morning, we cure Olimar. And maybe clean up some night missions, but the, the end of the game might be in the morning. I have no idea. If it is, then we're about to not end the episode. So I guess the length of the video will spoil you. See you in the morning. I don't think I'll be able to sleep tonight. Especially not with the weight of all the blood on my hands. <laughs> Doctor, administer the cure. Yes, Captain. What if it's not Olimar? Is it? Is it him? Who is it? Who is it? It's him! Who could have predicted it? Huzzah! So many spacesuits. Who are you guys? Excuse me while I get my bearings. I must have been shipwrecked. Looks like I've caused you all quite a bit of trouble. My apologies. I owe the entire Rescue Corps a massive thank you. Truly. Oh, uh, how, how silly of me. I, I forgot to mention. I am Captain Olimar of the Great SS Dolphin. I love the Pikmin 1 and Pikmin 2 motifs there. Hokitate Freight Employee, Olimar, from the planet of Hokitate. A hard worker and family man who often sacrifices his time off to support his family. He also seems to be a magnet for bad luck. Or, once great SS Dolphin, it's currently in disrepair. My employer is going to be less than pleased when I return home. No ball. Well, Olimar... If you hadn't been shipwrecked, Olimar, we never would have found all the treasure here. Olimar. We could use some of the profits to buy you a new ship, Olimar. And while you're, we're at it, let's get the SS Shepherd plated in gold, Olimar. <laughs> gold plated? No, no. The SS Cafeteria, and it's the Cafeteria. Dingo, you doofus. W could, would look better with a chrome finish. Ahem. That's enough joking around for now. Officers, prepare for our voyage home. Copy that. That was quite, quite the adventure, but we finally rescued Captain Olimar. Mission accomplished. Is this a prequel? I think this might predate the events of Pikmin 1. Possibly. I mean, what if we're partially responsible for his rescue in, in Pikmin 1, and so the events of Pikmin 2 are about to take place? We mentioned all- we found all the treasure, we mentioned that. We must say goodbye to them, too. How much I'll miss them. How much I'll miss this planet. Farewell, Pikmin. Thank you for everything. So many opportunities for delicious food. I might return here in my off time. Is that it? Is that really it? Honestly, that was kind of abrupt. 
I expected some grand boss fight. No. This seems pretty final. I'm, I'm not going to get my thoughts on the game until I see credits roll. Because I know how the song and dance goes. I've played other Pikmin games. We haven't seen the last of Moss, and it makes me think that this is a three-quarters ending like in Pikmin 2. Ah, either way, I think I'll give I'll give my thoughts now. I wasn't prepared for this. I probably should have been. But here we go. The Pikmin series means a lot to me. I remember seeing Pikmin 2 in Blockbuster as a child. And poo-pooing it, saying it looked like a, a, a baby game. <laughs> Unbeknownst to me, I would get Pikmin 2 for my 8th birthday. And it quickly became one of my favorite games. And as for the lion's share of my life, it was my favorite game. I put countless hours into Pikmin 1 and 2. And when I ran out of time to play, the time I was allowed to play, I would switch off and my sister would pick up where, where I left off. And we would work together to beat Pikmin 2, to get past our hurdles. I cried. I cried the first time. Also, that Pikmin was st is stuck. <laughs> I cried when she, be when she uh, paid off the debt in Pikmin 2. It means a lot to me. This was my foundational game. And even if I have complaints about Pikmin 3, Pikmin 4... I still love them for what they are, a piece of my childhood, something near and dear to my heart. Even if I don't like the music, honestly, there are very few tracks in this game that are memorable, they're very quiet. I mean, the past couple of episodes, I have started, uh, I've started putting music over the game, because that's how subtle it is, that's how non-existent it is, and I feel like Pikmin is kind of known for its music. It should be moving you to forward like a marching beat. And it just doesn't. And there's there's something that's been missing in each Pikmin game. But... Pikmin 4 has so much more of the magic than Pikmin 3 did. The controls are better. We can finally explore during the night and see... This this massive thing that we never got a glimpse of, but it was always hinted at. We lose Pikmin every night, and finally we get to see what that looks like, and understand how dangerous that is. We get to go back into caves, and they're polished, and beautiful. They have their own gimmicks, and mechanics that set them apart beyond just the music. They have their unique enemies. <laughs> it's exactly how I thought. They have their own gimmicks that make them memorable. Beyond just the, the, the caves that reference older Pikmin games. And for that, this game is special. And I also don't think it's over yet. I'm not going to spoil Pikmin 2, but... What we're seeing here is very reminiscent of it. As for the story, I don't know where it leaves us. I don't know if this is a prequel, if it's retconning things. But I don't think it's over. I think we're about to find out a lot more. Whether that's through challenge modes or another area opening up, we're going to find out. I genuinely like this game. Some of the changes are a bit confusing though. Capping Pik Pikmin numbers is totally fine. I love the uh, I love the idea of that of locking um, that amount of freedom behind progression. That's cool. I like the night missions, how they play into the Dandori challenges, and you're constantly warming up different skills with different challenges they're throwing at you. I do not like, however, the capped Pikmin colors. I think that is the worst part of this game. If it was something locked behind up, uh, progression, I'd be totally fine with it. But as it stands, the ability for you to take five whites or 
five purples just to be able to carry stuff better. The ability for you to adapt on the fly to new enemies that show up is so much lessened. And you can tell that the developers realize this because of how accurate the recommended Pikmin feature is. It's almost always spot on because they know how cumbersome it is for you to have to go all the way back to your base just to swap out your Pikmin, recalling everyone from the field to swap out your Pikmin. That's a lot of time wasted. It's clunky. And you have to leave some tasks unfinished. I'm not a fan of that. That is the worst part of this game. But that's not to say I didn't enjoy it, this game. In fact, I love it. I think I like it a lot more than Pikmin 3. It just has a lot more magic to it that Pikmin 3 was lacking. And it's kind of weird that I'm leaving 3 for last. It's just a, a, a circum uh, I'm a victim of circumstances in that regard. One day I'll play Pikmin 3 on the channel. And I'll love it. I'll just love it a little bit less. The executive producer is, and Jeff <laughs> are scrolling on the screen, which means it's the end of the credits. I will probably have a lot more thoughts to, to say, providing this isn't the true ending. Oh yeah, this. Rescues, 34 of question mark? Hmm, it almost feels like we, di we didn't completely complete the game. 129 Pikmin lost, and 40 of those were in the last day. That's weird. <laughs> Murdered a bunch of creatures. Good totals. <laughs> I have eight white Pikmin. <laughs> listen. Listen. <laughs> Just don't, don't, don't fixate on this. You know, I didn't really talk about... What is it? What? Suspend the warp, now! Something's wrong with Ochi! Uh-oh. What? What could this be? Space sickness? No, it would take much more than that to put a rescue pup out of commission. But there must be some explanation. Ochi's symptoms seem to have stabilized since we stopped the SS cafeteria and paused our flight. We need to head back to that planet right away. Olimar, what's going on? I'll explain later, but right now you need to turn the ship around and return to the planet. Quickly! We'll take that explanation now, Captain Olimar. Just look. That's why I thought. Ochi breathes oxygen now. O Ochi's feeling better. Yeah. I think that leaf may be the cause of his troubles. Before the rescue corps received my call for help, I did attempt an escape from this planet on my own. But unbeknownst to me, Moss had snuck into my ship's cargo hold. She started exhibiting symptoms much like Ochi's. I, rush, I rushed back to this planet, and that's when I shipwrecked yet, yet again. I don't know why, but organisms growing these leaves are seemingly unable to leave this planet. No. That can't be. Yanni, can we use the medicine you created to cure Ochi? Actually, while making the cure for Olimar, I had a hunch and tested on Ochi too. Sadly, it had no effect. So what do we do now? Uh, Work together! Yeah! Hello? That's right, if we all put our heads together, we're sure to find a way to cure Ochi. Listen up, everyone! During our attempted escape from this planet, we received a message from headquarters dated a while back. We must have been out of range while within the planet's atmosphere. So, what did it say? It's a request to rescue all castaways currently stranded on this planet. 
They provided a list. Here, take a look. Is that the game's version on the bottom? That's funny. This is a long list. Huh. I know this Carpite Nelly. Well, I, I, I know of her. I've never met her. She's famous in academic circles and is a preeminent veterinarian. Perhaps she could help us cure Ochi. Nelly isn't the only Copite on the list. Did she come with companions? No. Makes sense. She probably wouldn't have come here alone. But I don't remember encountering any Copites while I was a Leafling. If I had to guess, I'd say they crashed in an area that neither the Rescue Corps nor I explored. Yamo? Then we'll have to find a way to extend our radar's reach and expand our search radius. Sounds like we're going to need more Sparklium. Officers, let us get to work. Bwa ha 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 ha. Copy that. Huh? Russ, do you think it's possible to boost our radar even more? Kihi, oh Colin, never underestimate the power of science and forethought. I've already implemented the direct connection between the radar and our power source to give it some extra oomph. Excellent work, Russ, and impressively fast to say the least. I can't say I understand most of what you said, but it sounds like we should go ahead and switch on the radar. Now then, let's begin our search. It's amazing that you got all of the sparklium in the past four areas, Jeffrey. It's almost as if you anticipated this outcome and um, arranged it th such that when we got Olimar, we achieved all the goals we had set out to complete. We got something. Multiple SOS signals have been detected in an unexplored area. Some of these signals have to belong to Nelly and the other Copats. Let us get this rescue off the ground. Ochi is counting on us. Mission, cure Ochi. This, ne this Nelly is a renowned veterinarian. She should have some ideas for what to do about Ochi's tail. Focus search efforts in the newly discovered area.